I believe that the production of humanoid robots will reach billions of units per year. The ratio of humanoid robots to humans will likely be at least 2 to 1. The risk associated with artificial intelligence is significantly greater than the danger posed by nuclear weapons, by a considerable margin. What is clear is that it will be a technology beyond human control. One of the critical challenges will be the temptation to use AI as a weapon. In fact, it will be extremely difficult to resist this temptation, and it is certain that artificial intelligence will be used for this purpose. Before continuing with the video, I would like to say that we are thrilled and deeply grateful to have reached the incredible milestone of 600 subscribers on our channel. This was only possible thanks to the support and engagement of each and every one of you. Your likes, comments and shares have made all the difference in our journey. But since we know that you are amazing and always willing to do more, we have a new challenge for you, let's hit the 700 subscriber goal. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't miss the chance to be part of this incredible community and help us reach this new milestone. Let's join US on this journey, sharing content, learning and growing as a community. Your participation is essential and makes all the difference. Subscribe, share and don't miss the next videos. Thank you for everything and let's go towards 700. Developing the Optimus robot was a process entirely done by Tesla, since there were no sources available for fundamental components, such as electric motors, no matter how much money we were willing to pay. Now, imagine what happens when a digital life form, much more intelligent than the most brilliant human being, takes shape in silicon. Humans will have no chance of competing with AI. Some of the conspiracy theories that used to seem absurd have now proven true. Digital superintelligence may very well be the great filter that separates advanced civilizations from extinction. I hope that is not the case, but it is possible. It's like conjuring up a demon in a story where someone draws a pentagram on the ground and holds holy water, believing they are in control of the creature. Elon Musk dared to take the Optimus robot to an artificial intelligence conference in China, where many of his competitors were present. It's worth remembering that China has a great ability to copy anything. A clear example is the Shangjiang 3, often compared to Tesla's Model X China, in particular, is known for being meticulous in replicating foreign innovations, and Musk has mentioned this several times. So why did Tesla show off its Optimus Gen 2 robot so openly? The answer is simple, the Gen 2 version of Optimus doesn't have anything extraordinary yet that's worth copying. The Gen 3, which will be the official commercial version, will be significantly different and is scheduled to be released soon, according to Musk. According to him, the commercial version will be ready by the end of this year. While we wait for this technological storm, let's take a look at the plans that Musk revealed for his humanoid robot. And be aware that you may want to buy or rent one of these robots in the near future. Musk has stated that he hopes to have thousands of Optimus robots operating in Tesla factories by next year. The ambition to have humanoid robots working at scale in manufacturing has been around for decades, but few companies in the world have come close to realizing it. During Tesla's shareholders meeting in June, Musk confirmed that there are currently two Optimus robots performing simple tasks at the Fremont factory. They are responsible for picking up battery cells at the end of the production line and placing them into shipping containers. Going from two robots to thousands in operation is a huge challenge. If Musk's plan comes to fruition next year, it would indicate that Tesla will be mass-producing humanoid robots by the end of this year. Recent headcount reductions could be offset by the use of these robots, replacing many of the roles previously performed by humans. But what tasks will Optimus perform at Tesla's factories? We can't say for sure, but as Musk mentioned, they could be doing things like moving new battery cells off the production line and organizing them for shipment. We currently understand that Optimus research and development is centered at Gigafactory Texas, which suggests that this facility will be one of the first to deploy a large number of these robots. They should make it easier to monitor, evaluate, and troubleshoot things more efficiently. In recent Tesla update videos, 
we saw Optimus sorting 4,680 batteries into trays in just 4 seconds, while the daily production of these batteries at the Texas factory reaches tens of thousands of units. This demonstrates the significant potential that these robots have to optimize production and reduce the time needed to complete industrial tasks. Here is the rewrite of the text with more detail and fluidity. Deploying a large number of Optimus robots to perform specific tasks makes perfect sense, especially when you consider the efficiency they can bring. However, the work of the robots is not limited to just sorting batteries. For Elon Musk, the goal is to expand the use of these humanoids to a variety of functions that not only optimize the vehicle manufacturing process, but also reduce costs for Tesla. Musk could, for example, use them for simple tasks on the assembly line, as well as inspecting the factory and monitoring machinery systems. The possibilities are vast. At present, Optimus does not yet have a fully automated production line, as is the case with Tesla's electric vehicles. It is mostly assembled by hand, but that should change over time. Tesla is dedicating significant resources to hiring experts in artificial intelligence and systems engineering, especially for the development of Optimus and its full self-driving FSD, technology. Musk mentioned that Tesla has a significant advantage, the ability to scale quickly and accelerate production. This is possible because the company does not rely heavily on external suppliers for the components of its humanoid robots. There is essentially no established supply chain for humanoid robots in the current market. While the world has a vast production of electric motors, there is no adequate infrastructure to produce the specific motors, advanced sensors, and gearboxes required for robots like Optimus. Therefore, Tesla chooses to manufacture all of these components in-house. Motors, sensors, and batteries are all designed and produced by Tesla itself which ensures superior technological quality and helps to significantly reduce production costs. There is, however, a small drawback, this approach may slightly impact production speed. While Tesla is experienced in manufacturing electric vehicles, building humanoid robots presents different challenges. Still, Musk remains confident, setting an ambitious goal of manufacturing more than 10 billion robots in the future as he believes that the demand for these machines will be immense, even surpassing the demand for electric cars. Musk makes an interesting comparison, while a car spends most of the day parked, a humanoid robot like Optimus can work continuously, generating benefits and even profits that can reach thousands or tens of thousands of dollars per year. This high demand will lead, according to Musk, to a reality where each person will want to acquire more than one Optimus, with the ratio of robots to humans reaching 2 to 1. This means that, eventually, each person will be able to have two robots at their disposal. By the end of this year, we should see the launch of the Gen 3 version of Optimus, which will be the final model for the market, with a completely different design from the current Gen 2 version. As for the Optimus sales and leasing plan, Tesla will offer both options. Elon Musk confirmed on X, formerly Twitter, that the robot will be available for purchase and rental, with the latter being the first option to be launched. The rental option was expected, as it is an effective way to facilitate adoption for both consumers and Tesla itself, especially in its initial launch. Musk mentioned that some Optimus units will already be working in Tesla factories this year as part of testing. In addition, some units will be available for sale in 2025. While the $20,000 price tag has been mentioned by Musk several times, it is unclear whether this will be the final price at launch. In fact, it is likely that the initial price will be higher than that, given production costs. Musk hinted that the price will decrease over time as Tesla is able to shorten production cycles and use cheaper components, especially once production is moved to Giga Shanghai. Even if the starting price is more than $40,000 or $50,000, many people will be willing to invest, since Optimus can generate annual revenues that far exceed its acquisition cost, making it an attractive proposition for companies and individuals seeking efficiency and profit. If the Optimus humanoid robot can indeed reduce its operating costs, it could pay for itself in less than two years, especially if it proves to be a useful household assistant for families.
Otherwise, the prospect of purchasing it as a mere household toy may be unappealing, even if the price is reduced to around $5,000. Therefore, the utility and variety of tasks that Optimus can perform are crucial aspects of its success in the market. As for the launch program, it is likely that the first Optimus units will be made available primarily to Tesla employees and celebrities with close ties to Elon Musk. This initial rollout pattern is similar to that used for Tesla's electric vehicles, where early units are often given to influential figures before they become widely available to the public. Shortly after this initial phase, Tesla will begin distributing the robot to external customers. Tesla is also planning a leasing program for Optimus, which may be a response to the higher-than-expected initial cost. However, specific details have not yet been released about what the leasing process will look like, who will be able to rent the robots, or how businesses and consumers will be able to sign up. It is possible that the leasing program will include safety conditions and standards to prevent misuse of the robots. Ideally, we would like to see the rental cost below $100 per month, so that more people have the opportunity to try Optimus even if they cannot afford the full purchase cost. Development of Optimus is focused heavily on commercializing the robot by 2025. The Tesla team has until the end of this year to complete all necessary aspects of the humanoid robot, especially considering that the Gen 2 version will not be the final version. Tesla still needs to implement at least four significant changes and improvements by the third quarter of next year. The first priority is to finalize the design of the robot, which will be optimized to be lighter, using advanced materials that are lighter than those of the Gen 2 version. Musk confirmed at X that the new design, to be finalized later this year, will have special features. This redesign could include speakers and a voice system integrated into Optimus' head, allowing him to communicate and emit more natural, human-like sounds. Musk also mentioned that it will be possible to customize Optimus' personality and voice, which will allow the robot to learn about you and your preferences, anticipating your needs without you having to explicitly say anything. The Gen 3 could feature an even more innovative and attractive design, possibly with additions such as LED systems on various parts of the body or even advanced sensory capabilities. While the Gen 2 already did a great job with the robot's visual appearance, the Gen 3 promises additional innovations. Musk has been very excited about the new version, which could include new features and improvements that have not yet been fully revealed. One of the most anticipated improvements is Optimus' new hand, which will feature 22 degrees of freedom, allowing the robot to perform complex tasks, such as playing the piano, with impressive precision. This enhanced capability is one of the most anticipated innovations of the year and promises to make Optimus even more versatile and impressive. The increase in the Optimus humanoid robot's degrees of freedom from 11 to 22 represents a significant improvement in its ability to perform complex tasks. For example, the 11 degree of freedom version currently takes about 4 seconds to position a battery cell in its slot, after the update, this time will be reduced to just 2 seconds. In another scenario, Optimus' ability to handle slippery objects, such as eggs, will be greatly improved, even allowing it to peel an egg with ease. To put this in perspective, the human hand has 27 degrees of freedom and can perform a wide range of complex tasks, from simple activities to financial transactions. With 22 degrees of freedom, the new version of Optimus is not far behind in terms of flexibility and capability. After the upgrade, Optimus' robotic hand will be one of the most advanced on the market, surpassing most competitors that only have 5 to 6 degrees of freedom. This improvement will allow the robot to perform everyday tasks more efficiently, such as picking up a cup or folding a shirt. However, in addition to a more advanced hand, Optimus will need to improve its speed to be truly effective. Currently, the robot operates at a speed of just a few meters per second, which is insufficient to compare it with more agile robots. The Tesla team is working to improve Optimus hardware, including its skeleton, joints, motors, actuators, and battery, so that it can reach higher speeds and handle uneven terrain and complex environments, such as Tesla's factories. Tesla is also focused on improving Optimus' flexibility to optimize its ability to navigate in a variety of environments. 
Faster robots can complete tasks more efficiently, increasing productivity and minimizing downtime. As Tesla begins deploying thousands of robots in its factories, the robot's agility will be crucial to handling emergency situations and reducing damage compared to human workers. In addition to hardware improvements, Tesla is enhancing Optimus neural network and AI software to achieve advanced self-learning capabilities. Musk has mentioned that the robot will be able to learn by watching videos and applying the knowledge gained to practical tasks. However, transferring the expertise of electric vehicles to humanoid robots presents additional challenges, such as the need for greater precision and advanced sensors to avoid errors in complex tasks. The ultimate goal for Optimus is to reach a market capitalization of $25 trillion, an ambitious goal that, if achieved, would represent more than half the total value of companies in the S&P 500. While this goal may seem far-fetched, Elon Musk believes that Optimus has the potential to capture a significant share of the global market. With an annual production of 1 billion robots and an estimated price tag of $20,000, Tesla could generate substantial profits, potentially tapping into a $20 trillion market for robots, plus another $5 trillion for self-driving taxis. Optimus represents a significant advance in automation and has the potential to revolutionize not only industry but also everyday life. Musk predicts that in the future, humanoid robots will be integrated into homes to perform menial tasks, improving quality of life and allowing humans to focus on more creative pursuits. The combination of tactile sensors and precise control will allow Optimus to perform a wide range of tasks, from tool handling and detailed inspections to complex maintenance. Optimus Gen 2 is already a technological milestone in facilities management, offering the versatility to handle both routine tasks and complex repairs. The innovation brought by this robot has the potential to solve labor shortages and transform the way businesses operate. With that, we leave you with the question, what do you think of Elon Musk's plans for Optimus? Would you consider purchasing one? We hope this episode has helped shed more light on Tesla's ambitions for the Optimus robot. If you want to stay up to date with the latest from Tesla, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.